Hi everyone, this is Mo Rashid from London, UK driving, Sky driving team. I'll bring you one more mock test. Uh, how to pass UK driving test. Uh, theory, uh, 50 questions. This mock test is one of the important mock tests. In this 50 questions, I will explain you divided into a 10, 10 question parts. The first 10 questions, you will see the uh, importance of the documentation, which is especially your uh, registration, which is called a V5 documents. Who's the responsible, when to change, what are the legal requirement to have the V5 registration documents. Same time, insurance documents. What are the legality requirement, when to show it and the proof of it and same time what is the access requirement and what is the meaning of the access of the insurance when you have in part of an accident same time what are the third party insurance what is a minimum required the next 10 questions which is more about the school uh, road marking priorities what you're looking for it same time uh, the next 10 questions are more about uh, zebra questions, more about the zebra questions, a pedestrian crossings. How do you uh, deal with them? Who has a priority, especially when the amber light is still flashing on a pelican crossing? Are you OK to cross or you must still wait for the people to go and must give way to the people to cross? Same time. You need to wait for the uh, puffin crossing till it's changed to the red. I will. I like you to please read the questions very carefully, and select a correct answers based on that questions. There will be a two answers will be very close to each other. Please do not get confused. Next ten questions is about your attitude of your driving what do you do in those situations when they are windy situation like an open road when you overtake a cyclist when somebody cut in front of you how do you react on that sudden movement by the other people same time you need to react to those vehicles which is are vulnerable could be a longer vehicles and how do your reaction will be on the runabout what vehicle will be more in a danger next 10 questions will be more about the situation awareness like you approaching to a accident scene what will be your first uh protocol to follow it if you're on the first of the scene or how you can uh, give a person who's injured like a motorcyclist on the floor to check about their breathing how to make them comfort and what you need to do last 10 questions five of them they will be uh, last five questions are scenario or a situation based they will explain you the whole situation you need to answer the last five questions based on that scenario keep in your mind what they are looking for you to answer correctly like a downhill situations overtaking and same time the parking the vehicles there are quite a few signals or a signs or a same time a reaction of the lights or other road users you need to answer them I will complete the whole 50 questions and I'm 100% sure after these 50 questions your driving ability, knowledge of the road and the skill will be increased and you will feel yourself more proud after completing these 50 questions. At the end of this you will, feel, you will see the whole result which will make you proud yourself. And at the end of this video, I will share with you which app you must download, which give you 100% guarantee to pass. Even you get a money back guarantee as well. Same time, please like, share, subscribe and click on a bell icon so you receive all my new videos. I'm on a mission to help as many as people as possible to pass UK theory and the driving test first attempt. Uh, unfortunately, the pass rate is very low.
let's go to a to a mock test and please do share your comments what's the maximum fine for driving or riding without insurance 500 pounds unlimited 5000 pounds 1000 pounds why should you never wave people across at pedestrian crossings another vehicle may be coming they may not be ready to cross they may not be looking it's safer for you to carry on other drivers may sometimes flash their headlights at you what's the official meaning of this signal there's a fault with your vehicle there's a radar speed trap ahead they are warning you of their presence they are giving way to you what would you expect to find at a contra flow system on a motorway wider lanes than normal temporary traffic lights lower speed limits road humps what's the main benefit of driving a four-wheel drive vehicle shorter stopping distances improved passenger comfort lower fuel consumption improved grip on the road who may use toucan crossings motorcyclists and pedestrians cyclists and pedestrians motorcyclists and cyclists only cyclists What's a statutory off-road notification, SORN? A notification to tell DVSA that a vehicle doesn't have a current MOT. Information kept by the police about the owner of a vehicle. Information held by insurance companies to check a vehicle is insured. A notification to tell DVLA that a vehicle isn't being used on the road. What does it mean if your insurance policy has an excess of 500 pounds? The insurance company will pay the first 500 pounds of any claim. You will be paid 500 pounds if you don't claim within one year. You'll have to pay the first 500 pounds of the cost of any claim. Your vehicle is insured for a value of 500 pounds if it's stolen. You're in a line of traffic. What action should you take if the driver behind is following very closely? Move over to a position just left of the center line of the road. Ignore the driver behind and continue to travel within the speed limit. Slow down, gradually increasing the gap between you and the vehicle in front. Signal left and wave the driver behind to come past. You're driving on a single carriageway road. Why should you keep well back while you're following a large vehicle? To leave a gap in case the vehicle stops and rolls back. To give yourself acceleration space if you decide to overtake. To offer other drivers a safe gap if they want to overtake you. To get the best view of the road ahead.
When may a passenger travel in a car without wearing a seat belt? When they are under 1.5 meters 5 feet, in height. When they are exempt for medical reasons. When they are under 14 years old. When they are sitting in the rear seat. What should you do if you're towing a trailer and it starts to swing from side to side? Accelerate until it stabilizes. Brake hard and hold the pedal down. Ease off the accelerator to reduce your speed. Let go of the steering wheel and let it correct itself. Which sign means there will be two-way traffic crossing your route ahead? When are you allowed to stop on a motorway? When you wish to pick up hitchhikers. When you need to use a mobile telephone. When you need to walk and get fresh air. When you're signaled to do so by traffic signals. You plan your route before starting a journey. Why should you also plan an alternative route? You may find you have to pay a congestion charge. Your original route may be blocked. You may get held up by a tractor. Your maps may have different scales. You're driving in a built-up area that has traffic calming measures. What should you do when you approach a road hump? Check your mirror and slow down. Move across to the left-hand side of the road. Stop and check both pavements. Wait for any pedestrians to cross. What's a rumble device designed to do? Alert you to a hazard. Prevent cattle escaping. Alert you to low tire pressure. Give directions. You're driving past a line of parked cars. What should you do if a ball bounces out into the road ahead? Continue driving at the same speed and flash your headlights. Stop and wave the children across to fetch their ball. Slow down and be prepared to stop for children. Continue driving at the same speed and sound your horn. What does it mean if the signs at a bus lane show no times of operation? The lane is only in operation at peak times. The lane is only in operation in daylight hours. The lane is in operation 24 hours a day. The lane isn't in operation. You're following a slower moving vehicle. What should you do if there's a junction just ahead on the right? Overtake after checking your mirrors and signaling. Only consider overtaking when you're past the junction. Slow down and prepare to overtake on the left. Accelerate quickly to overtake before reaching the junction. At an incident, a casualty is unconscious but breathing. When should you move them? When there's a risk of further danger. When an ambulance is on its way. When bystanders offer to help you. When bystanders tell you to move them. What will be a serious distraction while you're driving? Looking in your door mirror. Using your windscreen washers. Switching on your demister. 
Looking at road maps. Which vehicle should you allow extra room as you overtake them? Tractor. Road sweeper. Lorry. Bicycle. What must you do if you come across roadworks that have a temporary speed limit displayed? Obey the limit, but only during rush hour. Ignore the displayed limit. Use your own judgment, the limit is only advisory. Obey the speed limit. You're stopped at the side of the road. What must you do if you'll be waiting there for some time? Apply the steering lock. Switch off the engine. Switch off the radio. Use your headlights. You're driving on a motorway. What does it mean if the car in front shows its hazard warning lights for a short time? Traffic ahead is slowing or stopping suddenly. The other car is going to change lanes. The driver wants you to overtake. There's a police speed check ahead. What does this sign mean? Route for trams only. Parking for trams only. Route for buses only. Parking for buses only. Why should you check the information leaflet before taking any medicine? You may have to let your insurance company know about the medicine. Some types of medicine can affect your ability to drive safely. The medicine you take may affect your hearing. Drug companies want customer feedback on their products. Why could it be dangerous to keep the clutch down, or select neutral, for long periods of time while you're driving? It will wear tires out more quickly. You'll have less steering and braking control. Fuel spillage will occur. Engine damage may be caused. What does this sign mean? No overtaking. Two-way traffic. You have priority. No motor vehicles. What does this sign mean? End of bus lane. No motor vehicles. End of motorway. No through road. Why do motorcyclists wear bright clothing? It helps keep them cool in summer. To make them more visible. The colors are popular. They must do so by law. What does this road marking mean? You're approaching a hazard. No overtaking allowed. Don't cross the line. No stopping allowed. You see these double white lines along the center of the road. When may you park on the left? If the line nearest to you is broken. To pick up or set down passengers. During daylight hours only. When there are no yellow lines. Which vehicles are prohibited from using the motorway? Powered mobility scooters. 
motorcycles over 50 cc cars with automatic transmission double deck buses what should you do when you're approaching this crossing continue unless the pedestrians step out Stop and wave the pedestrians across. Prepare to slow down and stop. Speed up and pass by quickly. What should you be prepared to do in this situation? Squeeze through the gap. Slow down and give way. Sound your horn and continue. Report the driver to the police. How can you make sure that a satellite navigation SATNAV, system doesn't distract you when you're driving? Choose a voice that you find calming. Set it before starting your journey. Turn it off while you're driving in built-up areas. Only set the destination when you're lost. What makes the vehicle in the picture, environmentally friendly? It's powered by unleaded petrol. It's powered by electricity. It's powered by gravity. It's powered by diesel. You've just passed your driving test. How can you reduce your risk of being involved in a collision? By taking further training. By staying in the left-hand lane on all roads. By always staying close to the vehicle in front. By never going over 40 mph. You're driving towards a zebra crossing. What should you do if a person in a wheelchair is waiting to cross? Continue on your way. Wave to the person to cross. Wave to the person to wait. Be prepared to stop. What does this sign mean? Contra flow cycle lane With flow cycle lane No cycles or buses Cycles and buses only Which type of sign tells you what you must not do? At an incident, how could you help a casualty who has stopped breathing? Try to give them something to drink. Raise their legs to help with circulation. Follow the DRABC code. Keep their head tilted forwards as far as possible. Who's legally responsible for ensuring that a vehicle registration certificate, V5C, is updated? Your insurance company. The registered vehicle keeper. The licensing authority. The vehicle manufacturer. Safety margins. It's the last day of term, and Ben is driving home from university. He is using minor roads to get to the motorway. It is a windy day. It's dry, and visibility is good and there is heavy traffic on the motorway. Ben is driving at 70 mph, keeping a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Checking his mirrors, he notices that the car behind is following too closely. Nearing his destination he then turns off the motorway onto minor roads, the first of which is a steep downhill slope. 
Arriving home, he then finds there are no parking spaces on the drive, and has to park outside on the road, facing downhill. In windy conditions, Ben will need to take extra care when making a hill start, passing pedal cyclists, using the brakes, turning into a narrow road, In good conditions, what is the typical stopping distance at 70 mph? Mark 1 answer. 60 m, 197 feet. 53 m, 175 feet. 73 m, 240 feet. 96 m, 315 feet. In heavy motorway traffic the vehicle behind Ben is following too closely. How can he lower the risk of a collision? Move on to the hard shoulder and stop. Operate the brakes sharply. Increase his distance from the vehicle in front. Switch on his hazard warning lights. Ben is about to go down a steep hill. To control the speed of his vehicle he should select a high gear and use the brakes carefully. Select a low gear and avoid using the brakes. Select a high gear and use the brakes firmly. Select a low gear and use the brakes carefully. When Ben is parking facing downhill, which of the following should he do? Turn the steering wheel away from the curb. Park with two wheels on the curb. Turn the steering wheel towards the curb. Park close to the bumper of another car. Congratulations, all of you completed a 50 questions and all of you answered a 50 out of 50. Well done for that. Some of you found it a little bit difficult and trust me, after these 50 questions, all of yours, all of you, in every single of you, your knowledge has increased. And these are the questions which you have covered. They are quite hard and a bit tricky. Let's come towards to this uh, special uh, clip which I'm making and adding for you at the end of this video. Driving Test Success is a, one of the best app in the market in the UK Great Britain which you can download and practice official questions from the DVSA for the UK Car Theory Test. In this you will have uh, activate the pass guarantee and you will get the money back if you are not successful. You have to follow the criteria they give you five mock tests consisting you have to pass. All the practice questions are here with the one click. Each category, so you go through it and complete it, all the questions one by one. After that, you can take a mock test, the same mock test which I have done it now, which you can see it. All those questions, they are exactly questions, including a scenario or situation based at the last five questions, you will get in your actual theory day. Same time, the questions which you want to search afterwards, if you think is, uh, you need to practice more, you can type in the questions will come up. Or while you are reading or are doing a mock test or a study and you can uh, save your questions, which comes in a my question, which will give you a whole list of the questions which you like to read again. There will be those your questions and they will be there for you till you complete confident and release them from the my questions list. Then after that, at the drop down, you will see a progress monitor. It will keep your progress individually for the every mock test. The areas which you are reading, like a practicing categories by categories, will give you a feedback and tells you where you are stands. Underneath, you will see a stopping distance. Every one of us finding a difficulty, 
to find a stopping distance because this is the calculation a mathematic which you do hit or you can memorize it based on the speed 30 40 50 60 70 miles and a stopping distance in a rain or a dry condition as well same time it'll give you help and support this is the app i've been using since 2000 actually this is uh, I've been using since 2003 but it was in a CD room and I used to give it to my students to practice and pass. Uh, I've been instructing since 2003 and, and this app uh, it's changed from CD room to an app now everybody can download to into their Android or iOS phone. Uh, I want to help all of you every single of you every single of the person in the uk great Britain to pass the pu test first time uh i cannot go and find everyone because i have a limited of time myself to teach everyone so please spread this word and sp share this video like this video subscribe and click on the channel and click on the bell icon so you will get the all new notifications or new videos regularly i'm making a video on a regular basis and you will get them i'm on a mission to help as many as people to pass theory and the practical test for the UK Great Britain. So please help me and share this video. See you in the next video. Till then, you look after yourself and Lord of this universe bless you with a lot of love, happiness and success. Amen.